There's a weird story that caught my eye recently. Uh, this Ohio man, apparently, who has a, a, um, a farm who, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it looks like someone in the audience has a question. Yes, sir? Yeah, hi, this is so weird. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, do, you, do you see my shirt? Yeah, I see your shirt. Yeah, it's a hand squirting like a mustard bottle, yeah. Right, so on the way in, I saw another guy in your audience who like, I don't know, it seems like he has the other half of the shirt. Is there a way to, is there a way to get a shot of him? He's, he's sitting right over there. I, I don't see him. Okay. Oh my God, look at that! Yeah! I was thinking the same thing, that's so weird. It, it's like we're two parts of the same story. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's very cool. Do you guys, do you, you know each other or something? No, but I, I'd like to know them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we clearly both love hot dogs. Yes, you know? and, and it's not just the shirt. You seem like a great guy. Aww. So, so do you, man. Yeah. Thanks, man, I, I think we totally hit it off. You know, buddy, I think we are hitting it off. <laughs> yeah, totally. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, guys, I love, the shirts are great, but if you don't mind, we're gonna just move on with the show, okay? So, thank you. As I was saying, this uh, story in the news caught my eye. In Ohio, this guy, he has a farm. What? <laughs> Sorry, but I, I don't want this to end. I gotta know that guy. <laughs> We were meant to be friends. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> could, we, could we just sit together? We have so many hot dog related things to discuss. You know? Please, Mr. Conan. <laughs> sure, okay, fine. Just sit together, <laughs> sit together. I got a show to do, please. Thanks. Do you mind? Thank you. All right, okay. Back to what I was saying, okay. In Ohio, okay, there's this guy and he had a farm and the weird thing is he got this idea that he was gonna rob a bank and he wanted to pay for his yeah. engagement ring. So, yeah, cool <laughs> yeah no, that absolutely. Well, we couldn't agree more, Nigel, and uh, you know, we're, we're very excited to be working with you as well. Yeah, it's been a passion project of ours for years. I'll talk to you soon. What are you guys yeah. doing? What are you doing? You're, you're, you're not gonna believe this. Uh, we just pitched a documentary about hot dogs to the BBC. And they bought it. They bought it. We, we, yeah. we did it. Thank you. Yeah. We're out. Uh, Here we go. Check it out. Check it out. We start now. Watch it. Bye. Get a seat. No, stop. Guys, stop. That. No. No. No, that's that's stupid. The BBC just would never buy a documentary. There's this notion that the only hot dogs that exist are these factory made creations, these artificial tubes that we see in plastic wrapping. But that's just not true. There is a place, though it sounds like legend or the imaginings of a child, where hot dogs, real hot dogs, are created organically, naturally, in a sustainable environment blooming from the earth like fruit in the Garden of Eden. Here we go. Here we go over here. Look at that. It's a foursome right there. Oh, that's nice. It's also be foot long spread for once from now. You see here, almost a half dozen right there. This forest alone contains over 97 different varieties of dogs, with new species being discovered every year. That's ready to eat right there. That's how it is done. This is where cocktail weenies come from. They grow right in the ground like pearl onions. Isn't that lovely? Sadly, due to deforestation, this is one of the last remaining natural frankfurter groves on the planet. But against all odds, the dogs continue to flourish. Though only two square miles, it produces over 25 tons of weeners per year. Oh, nice. Oh, let's see. Let's oh, see what you've got here. Oh, oh do see that? It's beautiful. Oh, oh my God. But the main benefit of a trip to Wiener Woods, you're no longer in that studio in Burbank. And that's how you get out of a Conan taping.